Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Sean here with Blue Ridge Silverhound, and today we're going to talk about a coin that has always been on the short list of some of the rarest, most expensive varieties that you should be looking for in Lincoln pennies. And I'm happy to say that so many of these have been found and sold just in the last 90 days that maybe, just maybe, there are probably more of these out there than what the i guess professional coin people you know estimate that there are some would say that there's roughly about 15 to 20 examples of this particular variety and that's kind of been one of the catalysts that have certainly boosted the value of these coins over the years and uh, i'm happy to say that even right now in 2021 this is one of those coins you could firmly count on as being uh, easily a four-figure coin and every single example that has sold in the last 90 days on eBay has certainly uh, kind of shoehorned itself into this very wide range of price values and you know and right off the bat you guys know that that's all condition based right I, I mean you know if you had two mint state 65s of this one coin uh, obviously one is not going to sell for just a thousand dollars and one's not going to sell a few days later for eight thousand that would just be really really silly uh, but yeah there there is a a wide range of varying grades that have been discovered and graded of course this is a coin that you really need to get graded uh just for the formality of getting it sold uh people want something like this graded period uh because even if they did buy it raw it would it would go to the greater so that that's a given all right so what variety are we talking about in this video and it's going to be the 1992 d lincoln memorial scent that exhibits the close am reverse Ooh, pretty cool huh um yeah th this coin has been all over the news it, it, it's it's been one of those chase pieces for young and old collectors alike, um, coin roll hunters literally dream of having something like this fall in their lap while falling short by finding something that looked like a close AM, but in reality is actually a wide AM, and that's the normal reverse. Uh, so yeah, this is the coin right here. Uh, close AM. We're going to go ahead and talk about this one. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the PCGS price guide values. And most importantly, we're going to talk, we're going to take a stroll on eBay completed sales at the six or seven or so that have sold. All right. So, uh, hopefully this, this video will get you pumped up. Um, if anything, it'll incentivize you to look through Lincoln cents more so than any other denomination of coin out there. I'm telling you, Lincoln pennies are the spot for varieties and errors, uh, above any other denomination in U.S. coins. All right, so this is um, uh, the FS, uh, was a 901 in the Cherry Pickers Guide. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a big one. It's in the Red Book, uh, along with the 1992 Philadelphia Close AM, which is a comparatively much more scarcer and more valuable coin. And you'll see that on the PCGS price guide um, in person. And um, this coin was a mistake right like like most varieties are you know they, they're just simple u.s mint mistakes uh the production of this particular rarity uh is all all a result of using the wrong set of re reverse dies you know um the original og just basic coin that you see here on the left is the regular wide am and then the coin on the right was from the coin that you just saw previous and that's the rare close am variety so how did this come to be well a us mint employee accidentally put a reverse die that was intended for proof coinage in um in place of the normal die uh yeah pretty crazy huh how things like that work I think it was an inadvertent error, okay? The, of course, this is nothing that, that was, like, made on purpose. You know, it was one of those things that I don't think they knew what happened. Um, and then, there you go. After so many strikes, you know, which remains a question mark. We don't know how many they actually produced before they caught wind 
of uh, of using the wrong die uh, for the reverse. But anyways, going back to this little graphic right here, you obviously see just a tremendous amount of gap here in the normal reverse compared to this one right here, which the A and M are basically touching. All right, they're almost holding hands. It's like the first date. You know, it's like you, you're, you're reaching out with your pinky finger and she's like reaching out with her pinky finger and they're about ready to touch. And then, you know, what you have there from that point forward is just sheer bliss, magic moments, you you name it. Um, but finding one of these close AM FS901s is going to be sheer bliss if you did come across it because good luck, you know, you, you hit you hit the big one. Uh, that's for sure. All right, so that's the uh, main difference between both of them. Another thing to point out is going to be the design of the FG initials here at the base of the monument. Uh, I don't know if you can see this one really well on the actual variety, but the F in FG is actually sitting closer on the regular reverse to the base wall right here of the monument, whereas on this variety, the FS901, it sits uh, about twice as far away from the base of the monument than the uh, the normal reverse. Uh, so those are the two main po you know points of uh, diagnostically that you need to be aware of as you're searching through for this coin. Now some would say, well, this is a pretty easy variety to see with the naked eye. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. And what's what's the big you know differentiator in all this? It's going to be eye appeal. You know how good does the coin look? Does it have unsightly spots? Is the coin maybe a little bit dark? You just don't see it that well. I always tell people, if you need to look for something like this, always make sure you have a magnifier. You wouldn't coin roll hunt w without one. It's uh, almost like a tool of the trade, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some PCGS price guide values. Uh, we actually have the uh, price guide value already set up for you. How convenient is that? So we have the 92 close AMs. Of course, those are always out there. Uh, they're the ultimate chase piece of 1990s uh, Lincoln Sense. Uh, this one is the, the most valuable out of the two. And then here are the 92Ds. They might want to take down the about 15 known little notation here because I think there's going to be a lot more than that. Um, and if, if people are certainly searching for this, I have a feeling there's probably close to maybe triple that amount of close AM 1992Ds. Uh, the Denver Mint, uh, variant is uh, much more plentiful than the Philadelphia. The Philadelphia, I could honestly say there's probably about 10 known examples, if not less, of that particular variety right now. Um, and that's with, with a lot more searching and hunting going on in the last 12 to 18 months because of the pandemic. You know, people are uh, going through coins and looking for some of the big dog coins like this one. Uh, but as you can see, price-wise, you got brown, red, browns, and reds. Um, the prices are staggering, you know, thousands of dollars, even in the lowest mint state grades, like 60 to 62. I mean, that's still a coin, even though these are price guide values, you know, they are right around 1500 to $2,000 for AUs and up. All right. Um, and of course you get to the, you know, the big time grades over here, the ones that really make you feel good, warm and fuzzy on the inside, you know, your mint state 65s, your 66s. And I tell you what. Life-changing money, you know, $15,000 is, is a lot of money, all right? And, um, you know, that's a heck of a prize for all the hard work you put in to looking through many, many rolls of Lincoln Cents. All right, so here are some of the most recent sold auctions. Now, as you guys know on eBay, they always highlight the last 90 days of sales. So in this particular case, we're going to take a look at all of the Lincoln Memorials that have sold here in the last 90 days and you will see this is page one by the way which i believe is 50 coins so we're going to start it off at the top we have kind of a shady auspicious kind of listing here um because honestly a transitional 1982 should be in a graded slab before it's sold uh but we have a couple neat ones the third coin down is going to be the first fs901 uh, that is sold. This one sold June 13th. That's a relatively recent sale for $8,074. Um, beautiful coin. That is a fantastic grade. Uh, price guide wise for a full red and a 65, 8,500. 
we're pretty close there. All right, so uh, almost $8,100. We go down the fourth, you know, most expensive uh, memorial scent to have sold in the last 90 days it is another close AM. All right, this is coin number two, by the way. PCGS Mint State 63, $5,150. $50. Fantastic. That is uh, some pretty, pretty big money in a Mint State 63, and it looks like it's a full red as well. Um, that's crazy. 2020D Lincoln Sen that sold for five grand. <laughs> I might have to do a video on that one. Um, but we go down a little bit ways, probably 10 coins down, and then we have another one here, a Mint State 65. This time, this time through NGC, another close AM, 92D. And this one sold for $4,197. Of course, this one has a few carbon spots on the obverse on there. And that probably is the big reason why this coin didn't realize its full potential. Like the previous coin that we saw sold just a few weeks ago. Alright, and then we continue on down. By the way, that's coin number three. Hopefully you guys are keeping track here. Um, and our next one is going to be this one right here. This is a Mint State 62 Red Brown uh, FS901 that sold for $2,500. Fantastic. I mean, that, I mean, as you can see, that plays really well in the Red Brown Mint State 62, $2,500. That is right in the wheelhouse. So it's not like these coins are realizing any sort of discount. The price is, let's just say, one of the most annoying taglines in history. It is what it is. Uh, and then we could, that's coin number four, by the way. We continue on down. And we get to this one right here, an AU58 Red Brown. So still, we are over $2,000. This one sold for $2,200 for a PCGS graded AU58. It's got a big old gnarly carbon spot on the reverse. Um, th th this one is probably just suitable enough to not get a, um, a corrosion tag or something on the label. Uh, but that's coin number five. Here's coin number six. And this is an NGC AU53. As you can tell, $1,900 is nothing, nothing to sneeze at. That is still a tremendous amount of money. I could think of a bunch of things that I could spend $1,900 on. A vacation, you know, a really nice trip. Uh, anything, you know, pay off bills, whatever. Um, that, that is quite a bit of money, you know. And I think there's one more down the line. That was coin number six, by the way. And we do have a coin number seven somewhere here. And it's this one right here for $1,545. However, this example is a PCGS Uncirculated Details Mint State. I believe, also believe, uh, and uh, the reason why I kind of capped it at six, coins that have sold in the last 90 days that I think this one is a relist. Um, the sale didn't go through, so it got relisted. But as you can tell, uh, yeah, th this one has, has its issues, carbon spotting and all that. But to realize $1,500 is still a really nice pop. So I don't know what the deal is there. But, you know, though that's the 1992D Close AM in a nutshell. It seems to me that more of these are being found today, and uh, they're being sold. And as you can tell, the trend is your friend. When you see a trend where every single one of these coins is slabbed by either PCGS or NGC, you realize the importance of grading these high-dollar rarities before you sell them. That's almost a must. It's, uh, you know, you can't, you can't negotiate that. That has to be a part of your shtick you have to grade these coins and the same with like a 69s or you know something something else it's it's crazy how people try and sell these things without grading them and it really really bites them in the booty when they don't do that because the coin comes back they you know the, the, the buyer issues a return you know and they go through that whole process and you know uh your career as an ebay salesperson is uh, effectively over at that point. So you want to make sure you do it legit and don't quit because these coins are out there, my friend, for each and every single one of you to find. And that is, that's my spiel for this one. That was fantastic. It's a coin that we should all be looking for. Whoa, what happened there? Um, but yeah, yeah, no, I just wanted to draw your attention to the just vast number of these coins that have 
come out of the woodwork where normally we only see maybe a couple of these being sold a year in a 90 day span we have six that have sold on ebay and uh i i think that we will see a lot more coming up here in the near future but that's going to go ahead and do it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it gives you a little bit of incentive to go out there and look for it keep in mind that 1992 philadelphia struck lincoln with the close am reverse is out there as well that's the big money coin that'll be worth four five six thousand dollars and up for a nice mint state 61 62 that is a rarity right there um but yes that one is there and i wish you guys the best of luck in all of your hunts uh don't forget to like share or subscribe if you enjoy today's video and uh don't forget to hit that bell for its notifications but that's going to wrap her up ladies and gentlemen i'm your host sean with blue ridge silverhound coinaholics we are discovering together and i want to thank you guys for joining you guys take care and i'll see you on the next coin video